Hi, my name is Mark. I want to tell you about OC Touchdown, Canon's new technology that enables designers and print providers to create physical elevation in their designs and printed output. The elevation is done by printing multiple layers of ink uh, on top of each other. Uh, that way you can make great designs, like for example packaging, high-end prototyping, but also uh, structural designs of, for example, wood or stone, printing braille, or even uh, leather for car industry. Touchdown uses two different methods to create this elevation. The first one is called Alto. Alto is the way of creating, for example, a full color image with elevation up to one uh, millimeters with a highly detailed structure. And for example, you can use it uh, like this for design, but you can also create more realistic designs from uh, surfaces like for example wood or stone or other uh, designs. The second method uh, Touchstone uses is Brilla. Brilla is uh, for example a full color image with uh, uses on top several layers of varnish and by that you get a really nice metallic look and give it a high-end uh, finish for, for example, luxury packaging. Okay, let's take a look how this works. First we go to Photoshop. In Photoshop we open our design and there we see our uh, full color image. First thing you have to do is create a duplication of this layer. After we've done that, from this layer, we create a new group and give it a name, for example, Elevation. Important is that this layer uh, contains this height information. So what we're going to do is we convert this to a grayscale by simply pressing Command U for a Mac or Control U for Windows. The slider of saturation, we move all the way to the left. So now we see that we get this gray scale information. And this is used for the elevation. The darker parts are the higher parts and the lighter parts are going to be the lower parts. So from this plugin of uh, Touchdown, we have now two uh, options. The first one is the setup. In the setup, we choose if we want to use an alto or Brilla uh, output. In this case, we use the Alto. And then we have to decide in which layer the information of the height is. Well, in this case, it's the layer we called elevation. Further on, we can give them a maximum of elevation. For the Alto, it's up to one millimeter. For the Brilla, it's up to 0.25 millimeters. Let's choose now one millimeter so we can see nicely the output. From there we go to the second option and that's the preview. In the preview we can get a really true preview of the output. In the upper part we can choose three different selections. We have if the image is bigger and the selection would take a lot of time for rendering we can just make a pre-selection and only view that selection and otherwise we go to render the complete document. This is what's now happening in the background. This takes a little while, depending on the size of the image, of course. It's a quite heavy image, so it takes a little bit longer. And now you see, this is the 3D rendering. Uh, it looks actually like this. And from here you're able to zoom in. And you're also able to look at under different angles. What I've done now is that uh, I also see the full color image and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see then the elevation. So in this option you can switch off the elevation and now you only, or the full color option, uh, sorry, and now you only see the elevation. There are two other things you can take on. That's the highlight and the slope range. If you choose for the highlight you can move the slider up and down and you see from where there is elevation. So if I move it 
uh, up to here, I can see that the parts that are green in this view, these are the most upper parts that will be printed. So now you can really very good see the elevation. The other thing is uh, the slope range. Uh, when you have a very steep slope range, for example, it can be that you look against the darker parts of the ink. Uh, if you don't want to have that, you can change the slope so that you will have more full color image also on the slopes. In this design, we don't want to use that because we wanted to have it like this. So now you have a really idea of how the print is going to look like before you create the PDF and send it to your print provider, for example. When you're satisfied with your print, you go back to the first option and you say export to PDF. Now a PDF is being generated and you choose uh, the location you want to save it. For example, your desktop. When you look at the PDF, you will see, you will notice, and this takes some little time, that the PDF um, has no further information in it, so you can just view the PDF, that's no problem. Uh, the information will be retrieved by uh, the Onyx RIP, which has the print provider. So now we go over to the print provider, and the print provider has a special driver for X Onyx. And in this driver, you just open, like usual, your file, This opens in pre-flight if you choose to. And as you can see, also in this pre-flight preview, you don't see anything strange about this image. What's important is that you select uh, in the media name if it's going to be an Alto output file or a Brilla output file. In this case, again, we use Alto. And also the print mode will be Alto. We send this back to the rib and the rib starts ripping and after that we're going to send the file. What's interesting is that now we have also an engine in between between the, the rib and the printer that's called an ELPS engine and this ELP engine is going to interpret the file and going to slice it and create a batch file for the printer. And depending on the height uh, you will see for one millimeter it will generate 40 layers and those 40 layers will be sent to uh, the Arizona engine and the Arizona engine will treat it uh, like uh, a batch file and what's uh, very important is that when you start printing it the carriage of the, the engine will raise after every pass so even up to one millimeter the carriage will raise and that gives you great details on the print. When we look now at the interface of the control of the Arizona, we see that this file is uh, sent. Uh, in this case, we used a, a file that had a height of 0.25 millimeters. And as you can see, you see this icon here. This tells you that this is uh, an elevated uh, file from Touchstone. Uh, and it's a combined file, so actually uh, it's a batch file. So OC Touchstone gives designers new dimensions to create truly engaging and unique applications and offers print providers new sales opportunities for new markets. So now it's up to you, stay ahead of the game.